not gonna lie to y'all, I'm, I'm not even gonna cap. Like, this unique little shirt of this One Piece with Luffy and Wano Country? Woo! This bad boy is heat! What's up you guys? Chase the Dark Sage here. We are back with another manga video. In today's video, we are actually going over the Viz Manga Calendar, which is a calendar on Viz's website where they show some of the monthly drops that they'll be doing for some of the manga. And if you guys have not seen the previous video where I went over May, June, and July, well obviously this one, I'll be doing a three month calendar of August, September, and October. And yes, I have to look at the calendar to see which months are coming up because I'm just that dumb. So basically in this video, I'll be telling you some of the future releases. I'll be telling you some of the releases for July just to give you guys a refresher of what is coming out this month. But this video is mostly to tell you about some of the Viz series that are coming out for August, September, and October, like I said earlier. So before we actually get into it, before we get into some of the releases, I gotta say shout out to my Patreon pledges for going ahead and financially supporting the channel. I gotta say I highly appreciate what you guys are doing. Financially donating on Patreon, you guys deserve the biggest Dark Sage hug that I could give you. Secondly, I gotta give a big shout out to Broke Boy Gang, aka Notification Squad, because they are already holding down the comment section and they also already hit the like button and they already sharing the content but if you're not part of Boy gang and you want to be go ahead hit that subscribe button post notification bell hit the like button that's for everybody and share the content that way it can help me grow within the youtube algorithm and lastly if you guys have not already go ahead follow me on all my other social media platforms all my links will be in the description down below so Let's go ahead and get into it. All right, guys. So right now we are on the release calendar for July. Obviously, this is on Viz's website. I'll leave a link in the description down below. Right now, I'll show you some of the stuff that's dropping in July, but we really don't need to go over that because I already have a video going over that. But some of the stuff that was dropping in July or is dropping in July, because some of this stuff probably already dropped by the time this video came out. Dr. Stone, volume 17. We also got Platinum End, volume 13. We got the final volume of Orisama Teacher, volume 29. We got the second volume of Undead Unluck, volume two, which I already copped because, you know, some bookstores actually put them out early we got queen's quality volume 12 snow white with the red hair devil's candy volume one which i actually am going to pick up i believe there's like 10 chapters already on the shonen jump app but i'm going to pick up wait or am i thinking of something else i might be thinking of something else not candy <laughs> not devil's candy but we also got fly me to the moon b stars volume 13 which i need to add to the b stars collection and we got hell's paradise volume 9 which is a series that uh, I'm not gonna lie, I kinda dropped, but I will be picking it back up this month right now. And we got the first volume of Mashal Magic and Muscles finally coming out. I heard this should be called mid because I heard it's pretty mid. Now it's time, guys, to actually look at the August drops. And August, I believe it, August got some heaters. The, the fall season kinda got some heaters. I'm kind of, I'm a little salty that the One Piece box set Got confirmed for January though, but but the fall season does have a few heaters. And first off, we got Black Clover Volume 26. You guys know I gotta get that bad boy. I already read it on the app because I'm current with the weekly uh, releases, but I will be getting Black Clover Volume 26. I need to get Chainsaw Man Volume 6 as well. Demon Slayer commits to No Yaiba Volume 23 is coming out. Disney's Cruella for all you manga Disney fans. I, I, I don't know how many of you are out there, but hey. Well. This is catering to you. <laughs> we also got the final volume of Haikyuu coming at volume 45, which is pretty dope. And we got the big boy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's what I need. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Golden Wind, Part 5, Volume 1 is coming out. A lot of you guys ask me or tell me like, oh, you know the uh, Part 5 is coming out. You know the Golden Wind cover is a little bit different. I actually like the Golden Wind cover. Like some of y'all might be hating, but I actually do like the Golden Wind cover. And then we got Jujutsu Kaisen Volume 11 with one of my favorite characters, Nanami, on the front cover. That boy looks clean with him pushing the glasses up. <laughs> oh, you know he means business because you know, get it? Because he means business because you know he says he doesn't like to work overtime. And if you... Let's just go to the next thing. We got Kaguya Sama Love is War Volume 20. We got Kaze Hikaru Volume 29. I don't know what that is. We got Full Metal Alchemist, the Full Metal Edition of Volume 14. Definitely need to cop that. We got the last and final volume of The Promised Neverland Volume 20. We got We Never Learn Volume 17, which is pretty far within that series. I haven't checked it out, but I am meaning to check it out soon. We got Comey Can't Communicate Volume 14. I feel like the volume just came out, even though it came out, I believe in June, like early June. And <laughs> I read that bad boy as soon as I got home. But I need to get volume 14. We got Pokemon Adventures Collector's Edition Volume 9, which I do want to start getting soon, but I gotta get them bad boys on the deal because them volumes are like $17.99. Now I know they got like two or three volumes in it all together, but it's still kind of steep price for your boy, especially if it's not a hardcover. But we got Radiant Volume 14, which I might try out one day we got golden kamui volume 23 we got assassin's creed who was asking who, which one of y'all was asking for the assassin's creed manga 
Which one of you nasty individuals was asking for an Assassin's Creed manga? We got One Piece Volume 97. I won't be getting that because I only collect One Piece through the box sets. And honestly, it's the most economical slash cheapest way to actually get One Piece. And we got Zom 100 Bucket List of the Dead Volume 3. Finally, there. it seems like they're kind of like printing out the Zom 100 volumes a little bit quicker because I feel like I just got Zom 100 Volume 2. And to actually get Volume 3 so quickly, I actually do like that booze. I like what y'all do. Now we got September 2021. And right here, we got to start off with Boruto Naruto next generation if you guys do not know if you have not seen my june reading log i'm actually reading boruto but right now i cannot review this current arc that we're in but i will be coming out with a review for the aoi the ao and the the uh invasion not the invasion but the uh the, the kidnapping arc i'll be doing a review over that but i need to get that volume hopefully i can get that bad boy in the deal because i really don't want to pay full price for boruto i'm not enjoying it that much right now but i feel like it has I feel like it has a little potential to really you know stir something up in me but we got dr stone volume 18 right here we got dragon ball super volume 14 i love the covers for dragon ball super dragon ball super looks outstanding we got martial magic and muscles volume 2 coming out we got My Hero Academia Volume 29. Why, why a little Deku on the front cover with Kachan on the front like that? Why, why that? Wait, wait, hold up, hold up. Why, why your hand move, Deku? Like, what you trying to, what you trying to get into, man? What you, why your hand move, man? We also got Undead Unluck Volume 3 coming out. So that's a pretty quick turnover for the volumes for Undead Unluck. I definitely see a lot of the Japanese versions at Kino Kaneo when I do go shop there. So hopefully that bad boy is good. I haven't read too, too far past Volume 1 as I'm recording this video, but hopefully Volume 2 and Volume 3 catch me because the covers for them look very colorful and I really, really do like them. We also got another series debut with Animal Crossing, New Horizons Volume 1. I'm not gonna lie, I might pick that up just for my girlfriend because my girlfriend likes Animal Crossing and we got that game on Nintendo Switch. So I might pick that up. We got the Kirby Manga Mania Volume 2. Um, I don't know which some of you nasty people are actually picking that up. But if you actually do pick up the Kirby manga, let me know how it is because I actually am curious to know how it is. We got Splatoon Volume 13. Who is buying Splatoon? Like who, who what market is that serving? What? <laughs> We got The Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess Volume 9, Beastars Volume 14, which is crazy because we're just getting 13 soon, so getting 14 that quickly, I forgot which uh, volume would be the last volume, but either way, I'm happy for some more Beastars. We got Dead Dead Demons DDD Destruction Volume 10, I know my boy Jerry is into that series right now. We got Fist of the North Star Volume 2, yes sir, I need that bad boy, that's on my that's on my need list right there, y'all know what I'm saying? That's on my need list, I need that bad boy, with that boy, uh, what's his name? I forgot his name, Shin? I think that his name is Shin, was Shin on the front cover? Oh, <laughs> I need that. We got Hell's Paradise Volume 10 coming out also, and we got The Way of the House Husband Volume 6, which sadly... I feel like the anime might have killed the hype for that series because I watched the first episode and it, it, it wasn't good. I'm sorry, guys. It wasn't good. Now we are on October and whew, y'all already see it. <laughs> I ain't even got to say nothing. We see that Demon Slayer box set. I already pre-ordered that bad boy and I believe it was going for like 120 uh either last week or this week it might still be 120 by the time this video comes out i'm not sure don't hold me to that but i will say check amazon for the nice prices but we got the demon slayer complete box set coming out and the box set art actually looks pretty good but we also got chainsaw man volume 7 i'm, I'm a little bit more excited for that i'm not gonna lie i'm a little more excited for chainsaw man volume 7 we got blue exorcist volume 26 coming out burn the witch volume 1 the series debut i know the anime came out i believe during last summer i believe i'm not sure don't quote me on that i believe it came out around the same time as Jutsu Kaisen aired but yeah we got burn the witch volume one we got jujutsu kaisen volume 12 moriarty the patriot volume five my hero academia school breeze volume five well, who's buying that who's buying the side stories to my hero academia please tell me we got another series debut with my love mix up volume one i'm not gonna lie if it's spicy i'll cop but we got one punch man volume 23 i feel like we just got 22 so to get 23 so quickly oh yeah one punch man one of my favorite anime slash manga series we got spy x family volume six. Oh yeah i need some more of that spy x family we got we never learned volume 18 yona of the dawn volume 32 i know a lot of you guys either tell me to get this or yana of the hot springs i don't know y'all either recommend this or that one i'll i get the names confused but we got that we got Call of the Night Volume 4. Um, I've never heard of that. We got Case Closed Volume 80. Ain't nobody buying that. Go ahead, just stop that one. Viz, if you had to stop a title, stop the Case Closed. Ain't nobody buying Case Closed. <laughs> We got Full Metal Alchemist, A New Beginning. We even don't have a picture for it. Like, this says final volume, so is this the end to the Full Metal editions? I I don't believe so, but it says final volume, so. Oh, this is a novel. Ew, ew. 
That means it has no pictures. Ugh, yuck. We got How Do We Relationship Volume 4, Coming Can't Communicate Volume 15. <laughs> I need that. Pokemon Adventures Collector's Edition Volume 10, Final Volume, which is a really great look because I'm not too far within the Pokemon fandom. I only know up to the Ruby generation with like Trico and Mudkip and all of them. Like I only know up to that generation. After that, I'm... <laughs> You're not talking to me no more because I won't be paying attention But it does have some of the Pokemon that I am familiar with like Blaziken on the front cover So I will be getting it and it's the volume 10 and it's a final volume So that means that if you really want to do the math you get 10 volumes you spend about $18 on the volume That's about $180 for the whole set and that's not including tax Buy two, get one free? Is that gonna come in clutch somewhere or what? But I do really expect to get the Pokemon Adventures manga because I heard it's actually pretty good and I really am a big fan of old school Pokemon. We got Requiem of the Rose King, volume 14, the art of Genlock, which is an art book, don't know what that is. The Creative Gene, Asadora, volume four. Record of Ragnarok, volume- Nani? Oh, this, you're tickling my fancy. Pulse? You're tickling my fancy with this one, Viz. Oh, because I heard the anime recently came out, but everybody is telling me do not watch the anime because the anime is not good. I see some of the screen caps on Twitter. And if you guys aren't following me on Twitter, <laughs> shameless plug, go ahead, follow me on Twitter. The, you know, hit your boy up. But I heard that um Record of Ragnarok, the anime, is it's not good. I heard it's not good. So um I won't be watching the anime, but I heard that the manga is really great. So I will be picking up the manga and I'll probably give y'all my review on it uh, probably in what, like November, my birthday month. Okay, go ahead, hit, 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 hit your boy up. <laughs> but I will be reading Record of Ragnarok because I heard that it's a really great manga. And we got number five, volume two. Um, I, I'm, I'm not buying that. I'm not even gonna cap. I'm, I'm not gonna buy that. But. I did see that volume one was coming out recently. So if volume one is good, maybe, I don't know. I know you guys gonna have to take the bullet for Dark Sage. Then y'all gonna tell me about it. That way I know if I should buy it or not. And also we got No Guns Life volume 11. All right guys, but that is it for the next three months for Viz releases. I gotta say that I am hyped for these next three months. Now they're not gonna hit the pockets too hard, but we also gotta think that Seven Seas got manga coming out and we got Yen Press coming out with some titles and Kodansha. So those might be hitting the pockets, but Viz, y'all not really hurting me too, too much right there, which is a good thing. Y'all are spacing it out really well, especially over the months. And I feel like the releases are coming out actually quicker than usual. So I really do like that. Your boy Dark Sage really does like that. But guys, if you did enjoy the video, let me know down in the comment section down below. Let me know which of these titles are you actually anticipating like what is the one title that you're anticipating the most out of all these releases that i just talked about i'm mostly anticipating probably some more chainsaw man i don't know i don't know maybe some more chainsaw man i really do want to get pokemon but i really want to see what record of ragnarok is like so I don't know, your boy Dark Sage, he's kind of conflicted on this one. But let me know which title that you're most hyped for or the series that you're going to go for the most out of this one. But I got to say, thank you guys for watching. If you are new to the channel and you have not already, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, post notification bell, like the video, and share and comment. I like to say thank you guys for watching. Dark Sage out. Peace.